Community-Based Eco-Resource Allocation. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 153. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 51C3 nonprofit organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 153, February 28th, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, everything that I'm talking about, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of our updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our newsletter list. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This last week, the core team transferred the final 25% of the written content for the work lesson plan to the website, as you can see here. This lesson plan purpose to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of work is now 100% complete on our website. Behind the scenes, we wrote the second 25% of the written part of the cooperation and collaboration lesson plan. We also completed the final 25% of the mind map for the community lesson plan, which you see here. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on Highest Good Food completed another round of organizing the streamlined version of our food self-sufficiency transition plan page, which includes contributions provided by naturopathic doctor Matt Martirano, creator of the coherent model for comprehensive digestive health. This week, we had an additional pioneer proofread and edit the page. The page is now approximately 97% complete. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team put another 10 hours into the behind the scenes revision for the Footers Foundations and Flooring page for the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week's focus was reviewing, editing, and inserting title steps for Section 8, Compass Installation, and Section 9, Bag Preparation and Filling, including additional narrative added to Section 9. We'd say we are now 70% complete with this total update and rewrite behind the scenes. Also behind the scenes, we added an additional 7% of edits and content to the Treehouse Village Pod 7 presentation begun by the intern team over the summer, including rewriting the text in the final few sections, final formatting, and last revisions. You can see an example of this work here, bringing us to 99% finished, and the presentation is soon to be added to the site. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, further developed what's necessary for us to create quality Cobb Village Pub 3 renders. Here is an update 8.0 of this work that focused on the Cobb bench designs you see here. 
Brianna Johnson, interior designer, also continued evolving the renders for the Straw Bale Village Pod 2. What you see here are initial test renders of the dining area looking north and the exercise facility. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued the process of learning how to do our own renders for the Duplicable City Center. What you see here is the kitchen washing area rendering with our new additions being selecting items, setting lights, and setting materials properties. We also began working on the dining dome second floor rendering by selecting items and table lights and developing the shadows, floor, and background. Bupesh Sithala, interior designer, also started to work with the natural pool and spa details. Here is a slope analysis and one of the designs we explored as we began working on the specifics for a children's waiting area. Behind the scenes, Mike Hogan, automation systems developer and business systems consultant, and Lucas Tsui De Silva, fourth year computer engineering student, continued development of the control system's main panel. What you see here is Lucas recreating Mike's design and demonstrating that he solved a software problem Mike had been working on for several weeks. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team continued working on a complete update of the One Community Business Plan. What you see here is our fourth week of reformatting the plan on a Google Doc for easier collaboration and sharing. We'd say we're about 25% done with this complete rewrite and update. Jackie Tastain, project manager, also continued helping us convert the lead certification research done by Matthias Manfredini, civil engineering student and urban design coordinator, into a web page. Here are the fourth round of pictures of this lead tutorial page developing on the site, continuing with formatting and content editing. We'd say we're about 50% complete with this tutorial. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our highest good society creation process. What one community is creating is a template for community-based eco-resource allocation. Our idea is if we can make sustainable living easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough that the idea will spread on its own. And the concept of eco-resource allocation being built and founded on communities is to create teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs around the world working together as a global collaborative to create a sustainable planet for all. Our idea is if we can take the eco-resources and we can allocate them to food, to energy, to housing, but also combine that with the social aspects of sustainability, high school education, high school economics, high school, which is for-profit, non-profit business creation, fulfilled living practices, truer stewardship. We can create an evolution of sustainability that will provide a way of living that most people will find to be better than the way they're living right now, while simultaneously creating a better way of living for others as well a model, a solution model of solution creating models. All dependent on or all built and founded upon the idea of eco-resource allocation to create sustainable living environments, to create fulfilled living environments and places that people can come and visit and the whole thing being open source. Open sourcing all those foundations, the food, the energy, the housing, education, the societal aspects, the fulfilled living aspects, the true earth stewardship, the economics, all these things, putting them all together in a complete model so that when people come and visit a place like one community, if they like what they see, if they like what they experience, then they can take all of the necessary blueprints, the tools, tutorials, resources, everything that one community is creating right now will continue to create for the indefinite future. And they can replicate that, they can modify that, they can adapt that and adopt it in the way that feels best for them that works best for their lifestyles, for their values, creating more and more iterations 
a global suite of options and alternatives and different versions of what it is that we're doing for people to live the way that they want to live in a way that most people consider to be better than the way they're living right now. So to accomplish this, we're bringing together people with a consciousness with a high, for the highest good of all. People that believe that it's not only possible, but that the time for waiting is, is gone. The time for doing is now. And we're creating this. We're building it right now. There's lots of different ways to participate. This idea of community-based eco-resource allocation appeals to you. It sounds fun to you. If it sounds interesting to you, if it sounds like something that you'd like to be a part of, get involved. We've got lots of different ways to participate, ranging from the pioneer team that will move to one community and build everything that we are designing right now, to just volunteer consultants and members behind the scene working and helping do donating their time and energy to help move the whole thing forward. This is what one community is creating. Of course, people ask, well, what's the number one thing that one community needs? We're still seeking large-scale funding. We're all nonprofit volunteers. None of us are paid. I'm not paid. None of our team is paid. We're all doing this, volunteering our time, because we would like to create this. We'd like to be a part of it. And we know that we're the ones to create the world that we want to see, that the future is in our hands. So, But we're still seeking large-scale funding. So if you or somebody you know has the resources to help us to get the property off the market that we've been working with now for over five years, that would be the next big step for one community to be able to share that location, to be able to invite people to come out and see that location, to start putting people on the ground, taking all the designs and everything we've been working on now for so many years, and to actually start building there and open sourcing everything to the next level. That's the next big step from us, for us. And if you're looking for something easy to do, well, the easiest thing that you can do to help us out is to share our information on social media, share this update, share our pages of our website, share whatever is most interesting to you. Help us get the word out. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We're on Pinterest, we're on Twitter, we're on Tumblr, we're on Reddit, we're on Facebook, we're on LinkedIn, we're on Sue, and we're on about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible for people to get the information, to be able to share the information, get the information out there in as many hands as possible because we know that if we can reach, well, we know that we can reach that global tipping point where we can positively and permanently impact the lives of every single person and living creature on this planet by shifting the planet to one that's sustainable. Currently, we're not sustainable. We have the knowledge, the know-how, and a building movement of people with the will to create that. And so now is the time to do that. And this is what one community is doing. And this is our idea of community-based eco-resource allocation. That if we make solution models that create solution-creating models, we can create a self-replicating new paradigm of sustainability spread across the planet and change life for everybody in a positive way. This is what one community is up to. This is what we're doing. And we thank you for following our progress. We hope you'll get involved if you're interested. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress.